In the wake of the Manchester Arena attack, people across the region swarmed to get B tattoos. Many parlours offered the tattoos in exchange for money to be donated to the Victims Fund. Ink Spire in Rochdale was one of them. On Tuesday, however, staff at the parlour decided to donate the £1,285 they'd raised to the Save Samantha Fund instead. Almost immediately, the tattoo parlour started receiving a social media backlash. Whilst all this was happening, Samantha Smith was attending hospital appointments. Well, as soon as I realised what had happened and that the money was from the bee tattoos and, and everything else, I, I published a statement on my page explaining that I wasn't aware of this, that I thought it was a collective decision, um, that I did believe that they had the right intention, that, that they'd gone about it the wrong way. Um, I have then received an awful lot of messages a lot have been supportive. Um, there's been a lot of threats and people believing that it was that I had some involvement in this. Um, Despite making clear that she had no idea Inkspire were planning to make the donation and that she's forwarded the money to the correct charity, the death threats continue. No, I can understand why people would be angry. I understand now that people have had tattoos and that they've paid for those tattoos and the belief has been that it was going to the Manchester Fund. I can completely understand the anger. Um, I had no idea about it. I had no control over the money being put in my account. The moment I found out about it, I transferred it immediately over to who it was meant for. And that's the right thing to do. You know, that's who the money was meant for. It wasn't meant for me. Um, the anger towards me, when that's been made clear, absolutely not, no. No, I don't, I don't understand that. I don't think it's okay. Um, I've had an awful lot to deal with as it is. Fundraising alone when you when you are already very poorly and you've got young children to try to protect is difficult, but it's the hardest thing I've ever done. And to do that and receive those kind of messages, no, I, I can't. I don't think that's justifiable. Samantha has a genetic condition that means that the connective tissues throughout her body don't work properly. This means her body is literally falling apart. There is no cure for the condition, but the problems it causes can be repaired. However, the specialist surgery she needs isn't available in the UK. She needs to raise £150,000 to get the surgery abroad. The pain is just constant and un unbearable. Um, and my... I have been told that if this condition isn't treated with surgery within the next four weeks, then I will become paralysed, have organ failure and then eventually die. What would it mean to you if, if you reached your total? I have to reach it soon. Um, it would mean I, I have my life. I'll get, to, I'll get to live. I'll get to see my children grow up. Um, Ideally, go back to work. I'm a psychotherapist. And get back to my business and get back to being independent and just having a normal life again.